Okay guys, it's gonna be my uh, best I can do tutorial to show you guys how to do ribbon changing in Bibles. Old ones, new ones, whatever, they're usually all the same. These old ones sometimes can be kind of ugly and then sometimes maybe not. Depending on how old the glue is, sometimes it'll pop right off, but sometimes the glue gets so bonded to to the older stuff that it actually can turn into a mess. But first off guys, when you clip your ribbon, give yourself a ton of extra ribbon. Um, believe me, um, you want it to go, you know, about five, six inches past where you'd normally, you know, like give yourself a couple inches because <clears throat> there's been times where I knew I had just enough and I went to cut the ribbon to give it that angle and then to treat it and it just wouldn't cut right. So I was like, oh, and I would cut it some more and then I'd cut it some more and I melted it too bad and then I ended up ruining the ribbon and having to take that out. So always make sure you have plenty of ribbon to work with and that you give yourself at least three inches, two inches to three inches to mess around with. I'd rather lose a couple inches of ribbon um, to have that freedom for mistakes. And believe me, it happens when you do this. So this will probably be a two part thing because this kind of takes a little bit of time. But I don't know, this might actually go kind of quick. So anyways, I use all kinds of different tools. This is like a painting mix tool where you mix the paint um, for painters. It's really thin metal so you can get down in here and hold things down instead of having to use your finger and stuff. So um, you can actually push up on the ribbon and stuff like that. I'll show you as I get going. Always have a pair of scissors. Um, if you have one of these eyeglass um, screwdrivers, a flathead, they work also really good for getting the headband away from the book block. See, this older book block's already kind of loose, so I can, this is going to be an easy one, probably. But um, you have to clean the old glue off, too, because it gets kind of old and hard, and you got to flake it off. But anyways, you can use these little screwdrivers to get in there, to get them out. And I have this uh, stitching tool for uh, making my knife sheaths. This is for doing, uh, going through a really tough leather. And it's really kind of sharp on the tip there and has this little hook and it cuts through some of that glue and gunk that's down in there. So this can work really good for you if you have one. If not, screwdrivers work just fine. Um, I have this little old tool. I don't even know what it is. I think it was like a sewing tool or something. You ladies might know. I don't know. I've just used it throughout the years for everything. So you know, anything with a sharp edge. Um, that's thin that you can get in here. So first off, you just start pulling down on this ribbon. Now, don't be too rough on your Bible, but you want to get it angled to where you can see down in here. You take your tool and you just slowly bend this down. So you're bending down. You take your tool in there and you just go side to side, very light, and just keep scratching back and forth. And it will take that glue that's holding this on off. And you wanna do it just little by little. You don't wanna just jam this thing in there and start prying because you can actually damage the signatures of the Bible here where the paper's at. This is actually all stitched, but they actually glue. Once they stitch it, they put a, a sheet of glue all the way down the spine of the book block. So you have a film of glue there. And what happens is if you're jamming in here and stabbing, you can actually poke up through the spine and ruin your signatures. You can actually tear the signatures away. Um, so be very careful when you're doing this. And it's pretty forgiving, um, but some people um, just, you know, don't realize this is a book. It's soft, it's, it's time consuming. So just take your time and you take the tip of your tool. So the tip there, you put it down in there and then you push down. See how it's pulling down on the book block? I'm pulling down on that headband further down in there. And see, I can look down in there from where I'm at right now. I, I can look down inside there and see the headband. So I'll lift this up for you guys so you can see down inside there. So, see the headband down in there? It only goes down about an inch. And see how they took the, the, the ribbon and put it down in there pretty far? It's actually further than the headband. That's usually how they do it. So as you put your tool in there, so let me show you guys, you push down, you can see the glue actually attached to it. So that's why I meant doing this back and forth where you're scratching that glue. You can see it attached to the book block 
And what you're doing is you're slowly taking the tip of your tool, a screwdriver will work, and you just lightly just keep going back and forth. And it will cut through that, that wall of glue that's attached to the book block there. See? That's attachments right there and there. So that gives you a kind of a visual of what's going on inside there. So you just keep pushing, pulling down. Take your tool side to side when there's little hairs of glue still attached. And break that down. Now I'm taking this one completely off. You don't have to do this. Okay, you don't have to take the headband completely off. If you can get it down to where it's open like this in a newer Bible, um, it should be okay. You should be able to get that without taking this completely out. You can put your... your uh, ribbon in there and then just glue it off. Now this one, like I said, it is way down in there. This ribbon, they put it very far down there. So, keep pushing down on the headband. And what you can do, if you have something that's very sharp, a tool that's nice and sharp, like an X-Acto tool, X-Acto knife, you can get down in here and literally cut the ribbon and just cut it off. That way you don't have to pull it out and cause any more damage. Or you can get a pair of scissors like me and snip that ribbon off. Okay, so you still see a little bit of ribbon there where I cut it. Not a big deal. Take that little bit of ribbon and stuff it down in there get a hold of it and you can actually take some of that ribbon and just get rid of it. Use the other tool here. I like to try to get rid of as much as I can. Actually I'm going to snip that a little bit more. That'll make it easier. But if you have any ribbon that's in the way, um, just try to snip it with some scissors or you can stuff it down in there. That one, I couldn't get it stuffed so I'm not going to worry with it. Okay, so there you have it guys, we got that ribbon off of there, we got the headband, um, it's kind of crooked here, so I'm going to pull it back out a little bit. Now it's still stuck to the book block inside there, so I'm able to do that. Um, I've found that if you can get this fixed, this headband in your, your um, ribbon in there without taking this all the way out do it because taking it all the way out can be a pain to try to get it lined back up again so um and even with doing this you're, you're messing with the book block more than you than you need to um try to do it without hurting the book block as much as possible um, i gotta look at this yellow now this yellow i'm putting in yellow and brown this yellow is very short i almost don't have I'll show you guys it barely it's going to give me like barely three inches of ribbon i don't like really long ribbons so i'm not worried about it um i always cut them this one was taken out of a book block so it has some of that leftovers from the last bible it was in um i'll cut off some of the loose thread just to make it nice and square and so he's going to come in here and start making noise come on, Zoe. Now, the glue that I will use is rubber cement, your basic rubber cement that you get, Elmer's. Or you can use this tacky glue from um, hardware stores. It's called Tacky Clear by El Ellens or Ellens, whatever. Anyways, that stuff works okay. I've used it, but I've started to notice that it, you've got to really give it time to dry. And it seems to not want to bond as good as some of the other glues I've used. So I'm going to try this rubber cement today. So, what you do, you push this away. You're going to want to put glue safely as possible. I'm not going to even use this brush. I'm going to put glue into here because these brushes are for doing big, you know, like kids do at school or whatever. I don't want to mess with that brush. It's too hard to deal with with a fine little ribbon. So I'll take the ribbon. You can take a little screwdriver, anything you got. 
take a little bit of that glue, clump my end frame here, yep, and just brush it on there. And don't worry about getting it on your fingers. That's why I have an old sock here that I saved for doing these jobs. I put glue on the ribbon, put a tiny little bit on the tool. Make sure you don't got any strings because any glue that gets on those pages, you're going to have to wipe off. Now, the reason I like using rubber cement is because you can do that. It's easy to wipe off. You take a little bit of that glue on that tool on the tip of it and you just wipe some glue in there and you get that glue all over that headband as best you can. Um, if you have a little like model paintbrush, I used to have one of those. I can't find it. Um, see right there, I got a hair from that glue so be careful with that anyways you take a drop of glue get it in there nice and safe go slowly so you don't hit the book block stay away from the book block you don't want to get glue up inside those signatures and believe me it's not fun sometimes you can ruin it but you can brush glue up here on the spine if you want just be really careful and you know, it's not a perfect thing. Um, using this rubber cement, if you go really slow so you don't get it on the paper, um, it's just a task that you have to be really slow with and just take your time. If your hands are shaking, just take your time. Go slow. This glue doesn't dry fast. Um, it's not like you're going to... There's no race going on, guys. The glue takes a while to dry, so... Don't stress out on that. Just keep putting some glue in here. I got quite a bit in there now. It should should be enough. You want to get it up as close as you can to the edge of the headband. So when it binds to the book block, it's like right there. Okay. So now I have the glue side. It's all glued. I have the glue side of the ribbon. It's going to hit the spine when it goes up inside there. But what you do is you put the ribbon onto the headband. You take your little tool and you just kind of push the ribbon in there until it gets past the wet part that you got wet with glue. Because once it dries, it'll look all gooky, if goopy and stuff on there. Um, yeah, that should be all right. That'll look really goopy on your ribbon. You'll have glue on there and it'll change color and then it'll look all nasty and stuff. So you don't want that to happen. So I got a little bit of glue on the headband here. I'm not really too worried about it. I usually do a better job than this, guys, because I'm alone and not on camera. But I'm not too worried. It's an older Bible and I'm not stressing out on it too much. So anyways, I'll take this brown one. So let me tap the screen so you guys get... Now, I cut this brown one very long, so I don't have to worry about how far I stick it in here in the spine. So, I'm going to take more glue. Wipe it on that just a little bit. And take my tool. Actually, I'll switch to this one. Sorry guys, bumpy there. Not used to using tripod, so bear with me. So then you go in low, you don't wanna hit the book block. Use that headband and your tool to lay the, the ribbon onto, okay? And you just kind of slightly push on the ribbon until it gets in there. You get it placed where you want it on your headband like this one's a little bit too far to the left right now, so I'm going to bring it over here more toward the center. And just be gentle with it. It'll move for you. Okay. So. And rubber cement is very forgiving, guys. You know how you can roll those little rubber cement boogers? Okay. We all know about that when we were kids. Um, it's very forgiving, so don't freak out. Don't freak out about it, okay, and give it time. So now what I want to do is put a little bit more glue now that they're in there. I put some glue on my tool. Um, it has that thin hair that the rubber cement happens, so I spin it around, get rid of that little hair that 
sometimes can get all over everything if you're not careful. Now I'm going back in here and putting glue off to the sides right here where the headband is off to the side. Put a little small glob of glue over that. Roll this up. I'm doing the same thing on this side. Go in very slow because your ribbon's in there. You don't want to get glue all over your nice new ribbon where people are going to see it. But remember, it is forgiving, so a little bit of glue that I do get, I'll wipe off with a little tool at the end here. Because I do have a little bit of glue on mine, so no biggie. Not freaking out. Don't freak out about it. Okay, now, what you want to do is take a longer tool. I have this other tool, something that's flat, nice and flat. Get it up underneath that headband and push that headband up. Oops, I slipped, so now I'm gonna have to fix my. Now I'm gonna have to fix that. Get my. There. Anyways, I'll use this little tool to do it. Anyways, push up on that headband. Okay. Lightly push it. Make sure you got no glue on your fingers, so when you touch your your book block, um, you don't want to be getting glue all over your Bible. And this isn't a fun process. It's not something that a lot of people want to do or try to do, but it, it's very forgiving, guys. If if you mess up, you just try it again. Just pull the pull the ribbon out. Get yourself plenty of ribbon to work with. Okay, now you can see I'm just lightly pushing up on that headband. So it connected back to the roof of the Bible. And then I take a small eraser. One of those little, um, you know, yellow erasers. This one's all chewed up. Something like that that'll fit in that spine. I put it there, and then I close the book block, and it pushes on that just enough. Now, you don't want something that's so big that it's going to, you know, push really hard on your, on your spine. Okay, so I'll show you guys. There's space right there in between that. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit. that actually squished that down nice and good so put pressure on there take my tool or screwdriver whatever you guys got put it in there and start pressing Whoa, make a noise just start pressing against that spine nice and easy you don't have to do too hard you want all that glue to make a good connection so I slide it back and forth And there you go. It's stuck on there. There's not a bunch of glue everywhere. Very simple. It looks really ugly when you do it, but once it's done, it looks totally fine. So I'm going to stop this video because I don't know if I have enough minutes on my thing for it to go out that far in video. So I hope it does because I don't want to have to redo this for you guys. So God bless. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.